I had this little show here with the slides. Everybody wants to fly big airplanes now, right? Okay, mission accomplished. Thanks for being here tonight. We started with two people two years ago, and now we have like a million of you looking at me. It's great. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I have this little PowerPoint presentation. It takes about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We're going to be talking about airline industry and airline pilot hiring, how to get jobs with, with airlines. You look familiar. You I do. Okay. So I entitled it pilot hiring process, but the first few slides are about industry in general, so you can get an idea of what's going on right now. I'd like to introduce my friend, Lee Roberts. Everybody say hello, Lee. Hello, Hi, Lee. Lee. hello everybody. He's a first off, he's a good friend of mine. He's a first officer at SkyWest Airlines. He'll take part in this too uh, here in a few minutes. And uh, he's very, very smart. Very, very nice guy. Good friend of mine. So, I thought I'd introduce myself first. I speak funny, that's because I was born and raised in Russia, in the Soviet Union. Right? I was uh, 26, year old, 26 years old when I moved to America. And uh, I went to Russian Air Force Academy, and I flew there as a pilot in the Air Force and also for a small airline. <coughs> so just take 30 seconds here and, and tell you something about socialism, because I can't just, I, I just can't skip that, okay? And we can talk about socialism for about five, six, ten hours maybe. But I'm just going to summarize it in one little thing. Don't let it creep in American way of life. Very simple. It's the way where the government runs things. The government is responsible and makes all these decisions, and private sector is non-existent. Okay, it's going to destroy this country. And uh, there is a lot of corruption that comes with socialism because people now are simply knowing each other on a personal basis and it's all who you know and uh, it's very very destructive to freedom and to free enterprise. More and more people, I've been here for 10 years now and more and more people every year say well maybe we should try, maybe it's a next step for America. Now America involves so much and now maybe the next logical step would be socialism for us. Absolutely no, always vote against that. Both of my parents are medical doctors in Russia, and I can tell you about free government health care, how it's free to see the doctor, but then you stand in line, and the line is constantly cut by all these people in expensive cars because they're more important, because they work for the government. And you're standing there bleeding in line, and anyway, don't let it get in America. Uh, came to uh, Utah State University in 2000, <clears throat> and uh, from there, pretty much a standard story. Went to a dance, got married, and uh, never planned on staying, but ended up starting my U American career. I was a little bit older, I was 26, 27, 28, and so I've gone through all the steps, flight instructor, then I flew corporate a little bit, then SkyWest, Continental, and, and Delta Crescent Fleet. <coughs> so, kind of been here and there and everywhere, and uh, gone through several hiring processes. And I just want to share with you what actually happens at the interviews, because a lot of people freeze up, and they really don't do as well as they can do, because of all that nervousness. Any questions so far? Welcome guys, very low key. Don't take a break anytime, go for it. If you want to just take off and go. Uh, I've been flying around and talking to my captains that I fly with, you know, older folks in their 50s and late 50s and so on. And I would tell them that I, I meet occasionally with young pilots and what do you think I should tell them? And so, can you guys see behind me? So they all say, tell them to stay positive. Tell them to be optimistic, because if they're not positive, they're going to go crazy in this industry. 
because the media is not covering airline industries well enough and there are all this speculations, all this talk from older buddies and older flight instructors, oh nobody's hiring, everybody's furloughing, tell them to stay positive because things are turning around really quick. Uh, virtually every pilot would, would mention something you can use in case things are not working out. Or even if you're flying and you're flying too much, you want to scale back a little bit, you, you really can have time and 